What up squad, I recently started a new manga called Guest House Yadori by Endo Yu. To be honest, I had mixed feelings because of the title, but I held back until I read a full chapter. Speaking of, I got into chapter one right away the moment the MC woke up to this beautiful Yadu lady teasing him. I mean, who wouldn't be jealous of getting woken up for breakfast by this bombshell? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The mommy milkers were on deck, and I'm ready for the cake, yeah. Like, you see that shit? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, for real. That's only the initial part before we get a rewind of how this all came to be. So, the MC, who goes by Yoichi, returned to his door to find it was on fire. Like, it was literally just set ablaze by God who knows what. And he calls up his friend Itsuki for a place to stay. At first, Yoichi asked to stay at his place, but Itsuki doesn't want him cock blocking for when he got a girl over. So he sends him to his parents' house on the countryside. Yoichi arrives later in the chapter and meets this 34-year-old landlady named Hana Yadori. We all know that she's busty. I mean, we saw that from like the first page of this series, as I showed you. But she is very playful in nature, so throwing him off his game is a given. She takes him on a tour of the place and finally tells him that she's the aunt of Itsuki. When Yorichi gets to his room, he gets a hold of Itsuki and flips out because of everything happening, like, so fast. In short, Itsuki suggests the guest house because he knows his friend's taste in Gyaru women that are otakus. He gets sent a picture of a Gyaru guy that looks familiar, so Yorichi starts searching for Hana. He comes across that gat again in the washroom, but is speechless to ask her anything. Instead, he ends up helping her out in the bathroom with the cleaning and everything before dinner that evening, you know what I mean? So, he's just doing what a man gotta do. So now they're enjoying dinner at this point and he gets a call from his mom who he's ignored for like this entire chapter but Hana picks it up to explain the situation. His mom is relieved and the reason Yorichi didn't want to answer is because he feels he didn't live up to his own parents expectations during his high school days. So even though he still kind of made it into college I give him points for the effort and he just is like taking it out on himself just because you know he didn't he wasn't the special case or grade a student or honor student i guess you can say that you know he set on himself so he can pay his parents back and all that stuff but he didn't have a bad relationship with his parents so you know it is what it is but after some kind moments between him and mommy milkers and then she starts embracing him just to make, you know, just to tell him like everything's gonna be okay and all this. Yoichi asks about the girl with a tongue piercing in the picture he got sent from Itsuki. Hana's shocked about this. She's like looking at him like, where did you get this? And starts being like playful with him like, is this your type? And then he just plays it off with like curiosity and all that stuff. Like he being a shy guy. So she claims that the girl is in the picture is her niece and only works part time, which kind of puts Yoichi down a little bit even though it's really Hana. Uh, the chapter ends with Hana walking out the room and sticking out her pierced tongue at Yoichi from behind. So it tells you already that it's gonna be about Yoichi and Hana just right there because she's the girl from the picture. I will say that this manga has potential of being something really, really, really good. Normally, I don't get recommended college setting mangas, but this one seems to be like right up my alley. First of all, it's Gyaru Gyal, older woman with mommy milkers, suggestive content. I mean, it can't get any better than that. It's got a high rating on manga desk, which is where I read it as of now. For what it's worth, I suggest checking it out at your convenience, you know, whenever you get time. In any case, I hope you enjoyed the video enough where you hit the like button, drop your thoughts in the comments, subscribe if you haven't already, and follow on socials for updates. Until next time, stay wavy squad and yeah!